Look what I have. You know what that sticker means, don't you? That's right. It's another box with a new doll inside. And who is it? Yay! It's a boy. It's Taiyang Natsume. Look at his two freckles. He's so awesome. Okay, I'm going to take his picture and I will be right back. First of all, I didn't really do a good job of showing his box because I was too excited to open him up. He has a really cool masculine box. It, oh, it looks like a cabinet. It's got like, I don't know how you would describe that, but it has his name, Taiyang. Um, and it says creator's label. And it's very masculine. It's kind of like a stone gray color with cream background. With this kind of sun emblem. I don't know if that's on all the Taiyang boxes or not because this is my first one. <clears throat> and this, here he is inside of the box. I can't wait to see his hair. So he comes with a lot of extra goodies. He comes with a chair that needs to be assembled apparently. He comes with a stand. He comes with his cello. And he comes with a jacket as well as what he's dressed in, as well as his card, and a necklace, and a bow for his cello. So yes, he comes with lots and lots of goodies. So I have detached my boy from, well, I think I've detached everything and he should come apart pretty easily. His cello has sort of come out of the box already, just on its own, by loosening the packaging. So that's beautiful, like really beautiful details. It looks very high quality. It is plastic, but it has real metal strings on it. Um, little keys and the wires are actually wrapped around the keys. I'm not sure that they turn. I don't want to try. So let's take him out of his box. So come on out handsome. He's awesome. Look at his really awesome boots. All right. Oh my goodness, his jacket. I have to smell it. it I think it's real. I think this is real leather. It can't be. It's so soft. It feels like a real leather jacket. It is gorgeous. It feels just like my husband's leather jacket. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, your hair's doing a funny flip. <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> oh boy, you've been in a box too long, buddy. Way too long, okay. Now look, he has earrings. Two piercings. I'm oh, sorry, for some reason it's not. There we go. So he has two piercings, one big and one little. 
and he has these beautiful gray eyes and his his um, eyelids are like a deep green color not a fan of the eyelids eyeshadow on a boy but anyways his eye doesn't fully open either get up there yeah, so anyways, he's gorgeous. I absolutely love him. He has these gray eyes and two little freckles and some painted on eyelashes as well as really kind of smoky shadowy eyes. Nice neutral lips. And he doesn't look as sad as some Taiyangs do. He looks a little sad, but not terribly sad. Oh my goodness, his ponytail is awful. <laughs> it's awful, look at it. But you know what though? The quality of his hair feels really great. It feels really, really great. It's just like, what the heck is that? I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so I have to play with him a little bit to figure out what he's all about. Um, it seems like his hand is a little, like his, yeah. Anyways, I'll have to have a closer look at him, but uh, this is how he comes out of the box, just with his little turtleneck sweater and his little shirt, and he has overalls that are kind of tied around his waist so that they're, he's wearing them as if they were um, pants. They've got cute little cargo pockets. He's got these beautiful boots. At least his hands are wrapped, his whole arms, his whole body could be wrapped for all I know. I don't know. I'll have to see how far up that goes. So I'm going to um, put him down for now and show you some of the other stuff. And then I'm going to have to play with him a little bit before I give you my first impressions because I don't even know what to think yet. So, <clears throat> oh dear, there's something broken here. Oh, what did this break off of? I'm guessing... Ah, This belongs right here. Aw, that's a sin. I got a broken one. That's too bad. Uh, I will try to glue it. I'm gonna have to buy some super glue because I don't have any. But yes. Aw, that's too bad. Um, he comes with a gray stand. And this chair. I hope the chair isn't broken. It's got some making some noises that concern me. doesn't look like it's broken. So I'm guessing it probably snaps together. And it has some weird painting going on here. Uh, I guess it looks kind of vintage, but it kind of looks like the paint was smeared on. So that's kind of weird. I guess in pictures and stuff it probably won't make a difference because, well, I don't know. Oh, cool. So there are circles and there's a triangle. Okay, so this fits together. Like that. Oh my, this is complicated. And then this fits like this. And I'm guessing that you have to put it all together at the same time and it all just locks in. Yep, that is how it goes. 
Is that not really how it goes? Yeah, it is. Cool. So that came together pretty easily, as you just saw. Very cool. Too bad his cello is broken. Okay. I'm a little heartbroken over that, but that's okay. Next is his bow. Beautiful details. It has actual like little fibers. I'm sure they're not horse hair, but they're, they look like a plastic thread. It's beautiful. Can you hear that? Listen. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. And then we have his necklace. His necklace, which is a little bit tangled. Let's see what we can come up with here. Oh, it's just tangled because it's sort of attached to itself. Cool. Okay, so it goes around his neck like this, and there's little bits that hang off of it to make it short. That's really cool necklace. So I'll show it to you. Let me see if I can, there. And what else is in here? Well, his, his collector card. It says, Taiyang, Pulip's boyfriend. And there's the picture of him. It's very cool. I'm not sure how I feel about this outline weird thing. Would have been nicer if they put him on a background instead of cutting him out like that. That's fine. Here's his super cool jacket. It has a detachable hood. Oh, this is so cool. It has a detachable hood and lots and lots of details. Holy moly. Okay. So it has a detachable hood. It has this little um, corduroy collar. It has a zipper. It has cuffs with little details and little arm pockets and more pockets, working pockets, which is kind of nice, and drawstrings. They're working drawstrings too. So he's going to be an adventurer, so of sorts. So it's uh, cool that he comes with this awesome jacket. It does unzip all the way, I'm assuming. You mu it must, it's the only way that you would probably get it on him. It's just, I can't get the zipper undone at this moment. Maybe it doesn't come undone. Anyhow, can't imagine that you'd have to slide that over his body. I will work on that. I'll figure that out and let you know in the review. So this is my first impressions video, which is just kind of like opening him up and looking at him for the first time. And then I will let you know what I think after I have him for a while. Yeah, I think he's entirely covered in plastic. So that means I'm going to have to take all of these clothes off of him. But before I do that, I just want to sit him down with his cello. Oh, his arms won't bend because they're covered in plastic, but there he is. 
He's really awesome. So I'll put some pictures up and then stay tuned after I have them for a while. I'll do a full review on him. So thanks so much for watching guys. This is so exciting. Hi guys, I'm back with more first impressions of my Taiyang Natsumi doll. Um, this guy I would have already showed you the unboxing for and I didn't have time to take the plastic off of him so I did take the plastic off and redressed him and I can tell you that my first impressions of this doll are that his stock outfit is excellent excellent quality and just really really versatile and beautiful um, he comes with these overalls that are like a khaki color with cargo type of pockets cute little button details. His boots are really nicely made and they're actually easy to get on and off. I did have to take them off in order to get the plastic off of his hands. His uh, overalls can be worn as overalls and they've got kind of like a saggy bum with the pant with the pockets down on his thighs um, or they can be kind of tied into like a casual pair of pants I guess. He has this purple striped tie which kind of wraps around his neck in a nice casual way. He has this really beautiful cotton uh, vest with these two button details. It does velcro open and closed and um, it has like a really nice collar on it and it's very very fitted. It has lots of darts and stuff and it's very pretty. Well, not pretty, it's handsome. <laughs> and then he has this, um, I don't know what you call this kind of neck. Oh, I think you call it a cowl neck. It's, he's got this cowl neck t-shirt and it has a design on it, um, kind of like a applique faux leather type of design on it that kind of dangles off the edge of the shirt. Um, I'm not going to undress him right now because I just took him apart and put him back together again so I don't want to undress him. So you'll have to wait for my full review to see what that um, t-shirt looks like but it is really nice. Um, he's got this really nice, it's a soft cotton t-shirt material, uh, cowl neck um, t-shirt and the cowl neck actually has so, like a type of a wire inside of it to hold it stiff. He also comes with a necklace that's been flopping around a little bit while I talk and it's kind of a very elaborate necklace. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do to display it but it has this kind of a ring on it. And this is what his face up looks like. So the one thing that I'm not too keen on are his eyebrows. Let me just move some of his hairs out of the way so that you can have a look at his face up. So he doesn't really have much of an eyebrow. He does have two eyebrows but they're very short and very very faint. Um, I'm going to rewig him and his new wig is going to have uh, bangs like a fringy cut bang so I don't think you're really gonna notice his eyebrows once I rewig him but he is gonna wear his current wig for a while. Um, he has kind of like green gray eyeshadow and he has painted eyelashes on the bottom and two freckles on his left side of his eye and no freckles on the other side. He does have these two earrings. His hair is really getting in the way but he has like one large earring and one small stud. There's no earrings in the other ear. There you go. His, when he closes his eyes, his, his eyeshadow, he has like green eyeshadow. And like a lot of Tae Yang's that I've noticed online, you can see part of his eyeball when his eyes close, so I don't really love that about him. So I probably won't be closing his eyes very much. He has very smooth eyes compared to some other dolls that I have. Like his eyes move very easily and they open and close really easily. So he has like a, I'm gonna say a gray eye, but it has almost a green hue to it. It's like a forest green, but it's lighter than forest green. It's grayish green 
eye. It's really beautiful. He's got beautiful eyes. He's got a bit of a lazy eyelid, like his eyelid doesn't go all the way up. And looks kind of like he's got bedroom eyes. <laughs> I don't want him to be creepy though. <laughs> so this is my Natsumi doll. His name will be Jax. And he's going to be series partner, boyfriend or love or whatever. So, oh yes, he also comes with this really cool uh, leather jacket. And this leather jacket feels so much like real leather, it's unbelievable. I thought it actually was real leather, but I looked at it closely and realized it was not. It has, look at the attention to detail, it has little studs on the corners and it feels so soft. It feels like a real soft leather coat, like the, like the beautiful soft kinds. And uh, it's very, very fitted. And so in order to put his hand in this, what I'm gonna have to do is put very tight elastics around his wrist. Otherwise, this shirt is just gonna go up when I put the sleeves on him. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the sleeves to, cause I don't want them all bunched up there. That's gonna be yucky. So, uh, what else haven't I showed you about him? He seems to have a really beautiful wig. It's incredibly soft. It has a slightly plasticky feel to it, but it's not, as plasticky as Luna's is um, and it's like I don't see any wig cap show oh, yeah I do if you really dig around you can see it and it almost seems like there are parts of his wig that are loose it's like it's definitely glued down all around the edges of it but there's parts in the middle that feel puffy like you're not going to be able to see that, but I can feel the wig cap underneath, like the netting has some give to it. It's like it's popped out off of his skull and not sitting down there flat. So that's, I don't, I mean, you can't really tell by looking, you can only tell by feeling. Uh, he has really wonky hair, as you can tell, and there's a thread showing from his wig cap that I'll have to trim. He has really crazy hair, I have to say. Um, it's not really sitting down for me like this is the best I can get it it doesn't like sit down like that and it's really curly and I think it's a little bit too fancy for a boy well for the boy that not for any boy but for this boy for the boy that I have in mind for his character so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pull his wig off right now and I'm going to um, and I'm gonna boil straighten it. I'm gonna to try to boil straighten it. And if that doesn't work, then I can't have anything worse than this. Like this is pretty, doesn't look very nice at all. So um, I'm sure that if you wanted to keep it in the ponytail, you could probably take it out and brush it and put it back in and see if you see what you could come up with. Um, but I'm gonna just get rid of it. So let's see what it looks like when you take it out. It's super curly, see? Super duper curly. Okay. So, yeah, he's got crazy super curly hair. <laughs> and it looks very feminine. Because it's so curly, it has a real feminine look to it. It would look nice on a pull-up doll. <laughs> it's like 80s crazy flippy hair. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> he looks very like a glamorous lady now. Anyhow, I didn't really want him to be a glamorous lady, so I'm going to do something with this wig, and I guess I'll come back afterwards and see how it goes. What I'd really like to do is just have it like, like bone straight and then still tie it back in a ponytail. So that's what I'm leaning towards because his hair is just too crazy to do anything else with, I think. Okay, so here's my Natsumi doll who I'm calling Jax and he's all set up at his chair and he has his cello, which I fixed the little 
stand thing. I don't know what that thing is called, but the thing that stands it up off the ground. It, mine was broken when I got it, and I just fixed it by using some super glue. He has his leather jacket back on, and I have boil permed his wig. That's a bit of a misnomer. I boil straightened his wig. I always think of a perm as curly. <laughs> Uh, and I really, really love how he looks with his straight hair. I'm going to put the camera in the tripod again so that you can, so that I can show you how his hair turned out um, up close. But this is the way that it used to look. It was kind of, well, it didn't even look that good. It was very curly and crazy. I'm not going to put his coat on him right now. You'll have to wait until I do my um, full review on him. This is just my first impressions. So I'm going to put this back in the tripod and I'll show you his hair up close now that it's straight. Okay, so I'm going to take, I don't know if I showed you his cello up close, but there it is. Oh yes, I did show it. And his bow, I'm just gonna take his bow out of his hand. Just had a little clear elastic that I was using to hold that in place and straighten him out and I'll show you his hair. So I'm really pleased with the quality of his wig even though I was not pleased with the style of his wig. It's very soft and very thick and luxurious and shiny. It's very very nice. I have straightened it. <clears throat> so I'm going to take it out of its ponytail so that you can see what it looks like straightened. So this is his hair straightened. And you can see that the wig cap does not show anywhere. It's very thick and full. I think there's one spot over here that sometimes shows depending on how his hair is falling. I didn't do a great job. There's some places that are still a little kinky, but I don't really care. I wanted to be done with it. So I stopped pouring boiling water over his, ha his hair. And so um, I didn't videotape me boil perming his hair. There are other videos on YouTube that show you how to do it. That's how I learned. I'll try to find the video of the one that I watched and link it in the information below. Um, but basically, this I'll show you the setup that I used. So you have to have a bottle that's long, that's taller than his hair is long, and I didn't have a single bottle, so I just put together these two bottles. And I took off his wig and set his wig right here. And um, so, yeah, I'll just take his wig off and show you what I did. So I just kind of put it right here like that. And then it was all like crazy curly up in the air all over the place. I should have showed you what it looked like beforehand because it was really crazy. And then you just take boiling water and you pour it all down and the water kind of straightens it all on its own. And then I just brushed it with this American Girl brush in between boiling so while it was while the next kettle was boiling I would just kind of like brush it down straight and that would help me find the places that were still quite kinky and then I would um, focus on boiling that area next and then after I think I used three uh, kettles full of water to get his wig this straight and then I just um, let it dry and then it um, the wig cap sometimes, uh, the wig cap sometimes shrinks a little bit when you pour boiling water over it, and I don't know if this wig cap shrunk or not, but I do have a little piece of Velcro holding it in place because the stock wigs are not stretchy like replacement wigs are, so I wanted it. I had to do that with Luna's wig too. I just wanted to be able to kind of have it have him move around and not have his wig wiggle too much so I just stuck a little dot of velcro on his head and on the inside of the wig and that keeps it pretty much in place it wiggles a little bit but it's nice to be able to adjust it too so his hair is extremely soft it's not all that shiny but it's not exactly dull either it looks a lot like real hair and 
yeah, it's not quite as nice as Allie's hair, but it's, um, I don't know how it compares to Bloody Reds because it's so much thicker than Bloody Reds, but Bloody Reds has that really nice dry feeling to it. This is not a dry hair. Um, yeah, but it's not at all frizzy on the bottoms. It's very, you know, nice looking. It sometimes gets stuck in his earrings though is the only thing. So he's got these really cool earrings and sometimes his hair gets stuck in it. And when I was boiling it, I just made sure that I didn't pour any water over the front of his hair because it was already kind of styled to go around his eyes and not kind of like hang straight down. So I didn't want to boil this part because then I'd have trouble keeping it back and I don't want him to have to wear clips or anything. So, so that's what he looks like now. I think he looks a lot more um, manly with straight hair than with the uh, curly hair. So for the character that I want him to be, I think that this haircut suits him quite a bit better. So there he is. He looks like a rocker with his hair like that. I really, I quite like it. So his necklace keeps falling down inside of his shirt. But yeah, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that the Taiyang body, uh, when I do the full review, I'll show you his body because it's different than the pull-up body. Obviously it's a male body, but also it has like different joints than the pull-up body does. His knees in particular can really bend quite a lot more than the female pull-up. And uh, his shoulders have this cool like little extra joint. It's like a cap on them. Um, and yeah, so I just, you know, having never had a, a tie yang before, that was kind of cool for me to see when I, when I had to undress him to get all the plastic off of him. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I will be doing a review on him, but uh, like a full review, but not until I have him for a while so that I get to know him and know what to say in the review. So there he is again. Bye guys.